definitely looking forward to uh, defending my title. We're playing on some really, really great courses this year, a couple of new ones. So it's going to be a bit of a different season to, to last year. But looking forward to it. The numbers are already up for uh, the first one here at uh, Firethorn. It's going to be great to get out onto this course and to uh, have a go at it. But uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. It's going to be an interesting season for sure. Yeah, well, I'm very excited. Um, first full season, I'm hoping I can get like a top 10 finish, maybe a couple of wins here and there. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. How's your goal? Um, it's feeling okay at the moment. Hopefully today will be a good day, but we'll see how it goes. I find this course a bit difficult, but we'll see. The privilege of defending the 2018 players of the season title. Yeah, um, that's also you know, it's good. I would love to have a back-to-back. -back. I think uh, it would be great. But uh, I'm not going to count my tickets uh, before the hatch, uh, considering it's like how the first Thursday league went. Um, so, so, yeah, it's still a lot of golf to be played this year. You prepared for today? Now, yes. <laughs> Looking forward to it? Back in the game? Yeah, no, I'm very excited. Um, well, it's the first Sunday league. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go have fun and it's nice to meet up with the guys again. It's awesome. Can Great you to be back. <coughs> no. <laughs> the champ has re Do it again. Let me see the trophy. <laughs> it's very sad that I have to give it back, but I'm going to try my best to defend it and we'll give it a go. Okay, looking forward to today? Yeah, that today is good. I haven't played the Firethorn course for a while, so I'm really keen on seeing it again. Father and son oh. looking forward to the start of the season here. Very much so. I'm even happier now because I qualified for the major. Now all i got to do is put it up to the captains and see if I can get in there as well. Reigning Firethorn champion. Yeah. Looking forward to defending. I think I'm going to defend it successfully. Mm -hmm. I'm off to better uh, compared to last year. So I sure I surely should make it. I surely should make it. Tell me what is your goals for the season? This year I want to win the Sunday League. Uh, this is for the team knockout. We're preparing for uh, to take on the other 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 teams. We are GeForce, Graham, and Gerard. It's kind of self-explanatory. So you're gonna win. Of course, yes. May the force be always with you. The GeForce. The GeForce be with you. Listen, here, just over four months left for the classic. You're looking forward to it. Oh, most definitely. The problem is time has just taken so long. Even though it's just four months, but yeah, definitely looking good. Uh, looking forward to it. First league game of the Sunday. How are you feeling? I think a little bit nervous to be honest with you. I don't know why they paired me with the Sunday League winner and the Thursday League winner for the first round. So, I don't know, it's, it's a bit of pressure on me to try and perform in front of the guys, especially my captain for the Sunday game. So. Dylan, what's happening here today? Uh, look, um, basically what we came out here to do is just have a, have a look at some of the guys' uh, chipping techniques. Um, from what I see, actually not a lot of technical work to be done with, with anyone I've spoken to. Uh, it's more about execution, sort of reading the lies, uh, understanding how the club works, you know, slightly tighter lies that you get in this practice area, um, and then sort of how to adjust that for the different length of shots and different trajectories. So pretty cool stuff, no big technical changes, um, but yeah, a lot of fun as always. And if people want to come for lessons? Uh, well, now to get hold of me, you go on the website, my details are all there. Um, if you want to do it directly, uh, just give me a call or drop me a WhatsApp um, and we'll, yeah, we'll change some lives. So it gives me a little bit of insight of what I'm doing wrong, but yeah, it's, it's easy to listen, but to put it in practice is a different story. It's a wonderful course, one of the best courses in Joburg. It's always in great condition. Um, it's uh, as it used to be called Rain Park. Now the, the course we're playing today is the Firethorn course, which was upgraded over the recent years. Um, they've put uh, in some different holes to change the course around. And I think it's a much better course since they've done that. Uh, always, always in fantastic condition. Um, and obviously they play the Joburg and Missy Open here. So it's, uh, it's, it's always a great test of golf. Good. Winning score? Winning score, I think it's going to be four under. 
Good luck to you. Thanks. Forward to five, Paul. I uh, love this course. Really looking forward to it. I'm playing some half decent golf at the moment, so hopefully I can keep it there. Golf and goals more than uh, winning leagues and winning events and that type of thing is to try and bring the handicap down a little bit and then through that uh, perform well on the on the tours. Just to improve myself, compete against myself, bring the handicap down and yeah, just have fun doing it. I'm trying to qualify for the Serengeti Major. That's the biggest goal for now. After joining last year, took a few rounds to get into it, but I feel I'm I'm playing to my best now at the moment. Right there, way. I know. What is happening? Part threes again. Like I said, <laughs> hate part threes. Jacob. Happy. <laughs> Happiness. Second shot, Chris. Yeah. That's the ladies' tea. Shot. Are you on the fairway? On the fairway. Darby, are you on the fairway? Are you on the fairway? Yes. Are you on the fairway? On the fairway. to measure for closest to the pin here. That's very, very close. We'll see Let's what see. happens now. Oh, no, he's going to miss oh. out. Oh, I think that's it's just outside. Yeah, it's close. Damn. We thought it was in, man. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. We just had a drive on the sixth. Yeah. It's a par four. Yeah. It's not on the fairway. <laughs> this will be green. Yeah, I think it, I think at something or take a big bounce, I don't know. Maybe hit the cart in front of us. Something, yeah, but it, it, it looks good. Let's hope I get a pull from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if I knew it was a red flag, I probably would have given it a bit more. But um, got a good 10 meter putt here for, for Eagle. Ridiculous. <laughs> Just uh, went past Rudy Mattia for longest drive, and you're on for two. On for two. Uh, are you gonna get that eagle? Well, there's a lot of potential to get this eagle. Okay. So the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Great, but, lucky uh, man. You no, know, as the tradition is longest drive <laughs> on a Sunday, so it's going well with the drive at least. Lucky man, well done. Thank you, buddy. Tell us about the placement from that drive. How do you like that, hey, Wilson staff? That's how you line it up on the driveway. <laughs> Actually feeling so relieved after three, a third, a second, a third in the last three, and yeah. But most of all, I just want to say thanks to Dill, the coach. He's been brilliant. As I said, here I've gone from 22 to 14. But yeah, the round was good. Uh, managed to scramble quite a few of the holes where I got in trouble and hit some nice shots. But yeah, it was a good round. Just love duck hook. When you were in the lead and you had the. What were the feelings like to keep it going? No, it was, it was interesting. Like this time, I only looked at the scoreboard every third hole. Uh, and like previous times when I've been in the lead and I choked a little bit, 
was, yeah, it was actually lacquer, especially in this last hole where I had like a 40 foot putt downhill and the whole crowd there yeah, screaming, don't leave it short. It was lacquer. <laughs> Yeah, so